My name is Dr. Andy Eisen. I'm a board certified pediatrician and an associate dean at Toro University, Nevada. I've served on Clark County's child death review team for more than 10 years. What we've seen on the child death review team is a preventable problem that's led to a huge number of deaths of children in Clark County. From 2006 to 2010, there were 113 deaths of infants in Clark County that were tied to unsafe sleeping practices. And we're here today to talk about ways to make your baby's sleep safer, ways that you can decrease the risk for your child. Do place your baby in a crib to sleep. Do place your baby on his or her back to sleep. Do make sure your baby's face is uncovered. Do have a firm mattress with a tight fitting sheet in your baby's crib. Don't put anything else in the crib with your baby. Don't overheat or overdress your baby for sleep. Don't allow anyone to smoke around your baby. Hello, my name is Dr. Elaine Olson and I work at the Clark County Coroner's Office. Because I work at the Coroner's Office, I see a lot of things that parents have tried to do right, but that have led to the deaths of their infants. There are some very important things to keep in mind when you're thinking about where your baby will sleep and how your baby will sleep. Each baby needs their own crib or bassinet. There should be a very firm mattress with a tightly fitting sheet and nothing else in the crib with the baby. Babies should not sleep on standard beds with adults or other children or pets. If babies are sleeping with other people, particularly very tired uh, parents uh, or small children, and there is any jockeying for space in the bed, unfortunately the babies aren't going to come out the winners in these situations. So please, make sure that your baby sleeps alone in his or her own crib. Don't place your child on his or her side or stomach to sleep. Even positioners are not a fail-safe and they can in fact result in serious injury or death. An additional danger of placing a child, an infant, in an unsafe sleeping environment is that they don't think like adults do and they don't realize that if they just turn their heads they might be able to get out of it. Infants are not small adults and they can't move like we do, they don't have the strength that adults do and they don't think and problem solve like adults do. So please don't put your baby in a position where they can be compromised by unsafe sleeping conditions. Every baby can benefit from tummy time while he or she is awake. Helps to strengthen neck muscles and gives them an opportunity to explore their environment. Make sure you give your baby some tummy time every day while he or she is awake. But never leave your baby unsupervised during tummy time and never leave your baby in a place where he or she might fall from a couch or a table. Tummy time on the floor is the safest place. Never put your baby on his tummy to sleep. Tummy time is only for when your baby's awake. Pacifiers can be a great help. They can help babies learn to soothe themselves and calm down. But it's important that you follow some rules about pacifiers. First off, if you're breastfeeding, make sure breastfeeding is well established before you introduce a pacifier. It's a different kind of hold in the mouth for your baby and it can be confusing before breastfeeding is established. Also, never leave your baby unsupervised with a pacifier. If a piece breaks, it could become a choking hazard. Never use a pacifier that's attached to clothing or has a long string on it because that can be a strangulation risk. Always, always make sure that your baby is using a pacifier safely if you're going to use one at all. And no baby has to have a pacifier. It's your choice. All of us as parents want to bond with our new babies. But bedtime isn't bonding time. Every baby deserves his or her own appropriate place to sleep. That means their own place, not an adult bed with a firm mattress and a tight-fitting sheet, without extra items in the bed like stuffed animals or pillows or unnecessary blankets. 
That's the safest place for your baby to be, in his or her own safe sleep space on his back. My name is Dr. Beverly Neal and I'm a general pediatrician. Your baby um, for breastfeeding should be taken out of the bed. You should be seated comfortably in your bed if that's how you want to do that. You should feed your baby, comfort your baby, burp your baby, and place your baby back in the crib on the baby's back. Smoking interferes with the ciliary action of the hair in the nose. It doesn't, and it's there to filter out. And smoking, there's particulate matter in the ear, so it causes irritation to the nasal cavity. So that's why you don't want someone smoking around your baby. Things have changed uh, over the years on how we sleep. Uh, we place babies down for sleeping. Uh, in the past, babies used to be placed on their stomachs because it was felt that if the baby, for some reason, had to uh, throw up, that the baby could lift their head and would not get into trouble. But there is evidence out that babies laying on their back don't choke. It has a tendency, if they start choking, to wake them up and make them more alert. So. Uh, that is uh, one of the reasons why children are placed on their back. If you're comfortable at bedtime in a light sleeping garment yourself, the baby just needs a sleep appropriate uh, sleeper on or a onesie. The baby doesn't have to be bundled. It's important to recognize that all deaths that are caused by unsafe sleeping conditions are preventable. Your baby's safety is the responsibility of everyone who cares for him or her. And it's important that you share this information with anyone who might be caring for your baby.